Uh, it's very small, very small town. Close-knit, multi-generational. You actually see the neighbors outside. There's a lot of hard-working people in this community. Oh, what's neat about Tolleson, the school is 92 years old. When the pandemic started, the, the school was shut down. Fortunately, we were not able to participate in the fall. The season was on, the season was off, the season was on. There's a whole bunch of cases and they don't think we can keep going, so they shut us down. COVID just beat us up. This is an opportunity to start all over and to build. Build what we left off two years ago when we did have the season. We are in charge of this. COVID's not in charge of this. There were three guys yesterday that walked out of here that didn't have a drop of sweat on. Not one drop of sweat. And you don't want it. Like I said, there's other places. When COVID hit, we were on spring break, and so our students never came back. They were in shock. Uh, our seniors never returned to the campus. Every day we had sad news, disappointing news, uh, tragic news. I even came down with the virus, uh, so did my wife. Do you have a season and then risk everybody getting infected, or do you not? One minute, like you said, they're telling them you, you can play. Next minute, no. We had some parents that were upset. Uh, if you go right down the street to the Agua Fria district, you know, it's not that far away, they're able to participate. But they didn't have the numbers that we had in reference to COVID. We tried everything we possibly could to let, get the boys to play. It was out of our hands. They start protesting for a long time, protesting for about a good three weeks outside of the district, but teams that we, we didn't really like. I kind of went into a depressed because, you know, football has always been my go-to thing, you know, away from school. Kids started to transfer. You had um, some seniors transfer out. We did have a very tragic situation and we did lose um, a beloved coach. When Mr. Friedrich asked Friedrich to pass, he kind of sunk in a little bit. When he passed, it, um, if it did affect us by a lot. Because we were already hurt. We were already hurt because of the passing of him. But what also really hurt us even more was that people started beginning to blame us. And it just felt like we pushed it too much. And we got all these coaches there risking their lives. Should I even have pushed that far? Should I have really protested every day? Because it took a life away. I live with the guilt still. Because I, I, I don't know, I never know. I never know if it was wrong, I never know if it was right. It hurt, but you know, we give props to the district for keeping us safe. It, 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 was, a, it was a punch in the gut. I kind of want to attack the season with a vengeance, rise from the ashes, you know, in honor of my friend. What we're trying to do is basically, uh, you know, put together all the pieces back together. Understand, every card is $20. That is your responsibility as soon as you take these cards. You throw the ingredients in, figure out what the right recipe is to, uh, you know, to move the football and score points. Don't just be flipping about this, oh, I'm going to give two cards to my girlfriend because she's going to sell them, and then all of a sudden she didn't sell them. And 
She ain't giving you $40 because she broke up with you last week. Three, four years ago, I went east and uh, it, you know, didn't work out. I'm so excited to be back west on the west side where I grew up. First day, nobody knowing where they're going. It's been a year. Been on the west side since 1980, minus three years. Are you fast? I didn't think so. Are you? No. You're definitely not. You're not. You think you are because you're a basketball player. That's okay. We knew Coach Lopez left, and then we bring in Coach Robrock. Everything stopped! Some of us were scared because we didn't know how. We didn't know how this all was going to go. It'll never happen. I see how you catch the ball. Roy, adios. Adios. Yeah, get down there and help with the snappers. See, it's real easy for me. I got to see who you are. Oh, let's rock it. Not a chance in the world! But hey, thanks for trying. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye. And the more we understood Coach Robach, we started knowing him better, started knowing him after months and months. Say, okay, I'm going to give in. These Tolson boys have been through so much. So it's like, we finally have this in our hand. We're not going to take it for granted. This is not a stiff thing. If you're stiff back here, you give me heart palpitations. Heart palpitations are not good. He bring in dudes, coaches, amazing coaches. We can't do anything with those arms. Arms are here, straight through. They're like, you know, Wolverine. We're Wolverines, right? And that's when we all, we are like, dude, we're gonna have the best season of our life. But when it comes like things comes out of his thing, it's like two. two. That guy? Yeah. You're Wolverines. Here we go. Here we go. Drive it. The, the biggest thing that jumps out at me is our bigs. Uh, we're probably one of the few schools in the state of Arizona that has a bunch of bigs. Which is very rare anymore. Boom! 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 I haven't seen this many bigs. So there's a lot of really good looking boys. Go! Drive it lower! The bigs get treated differently here just because I grew up as an offensive line coach. What those guys do on a daily basis is a little different than what the skinnies have to do. They have to work a little harder. It's, the heat's a little bit more difficult for them than it is for uh, the young men that are carrying around 160, 170 pounds. You guys gotta do five push-ups if he fills it up. If he doesn't oh, fill it up, five. I got five push-ups. Are we that bad at our playbooks? Yes, sir. Okay, we just looked, you looked like you had uh, took a crapper right after the inside run period. Come on, What's your over under. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Doggone it, I really thought he was gonna go fill that thing up. Welcome to your first day of football. It was a start stop for them, and so they never really got used to it, and then by the time they got used to, you know, anything used to it, it was a start stop which had to be difficult for them, but at the end of the day, game one team that we play doesn't really care. They're not gonna care. They're not gonna go, oh, you didn't have a season last year. Oh, we're gonna take it easy on you. I don't think they're gonna care. We'll meet you in the locker room. Very good to be back. Six players on the Desert Vista football team tested positive for COVID. Outbreaks have been identified at five Scottsdale schools. Being forced to shut down practice because of a potential COVID outbreak. They could potentially have to close down classrooms and return to online learning. This is basically round two of, of football COVID at this point. Because the last time it shut down, all the other, all the other districts, one school, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The whole district shut down. They're saying, you know what? If you got an outbreak, you're going to shut down for a while. If you have an outbreak, you're going to shut down. So what we're going to do is, we're going to follow the only thing I know. It is scary that, that you know, the pandemic's still out there. I think a lot of the um, 
coaches and, and students know that you know, at some point, if, if it becomes um, you know, an outbreak site determined by the county, that the best interest of the program would be to shut down. Everybody, lift it up. Show me you got it. Okay. You know, right now, we've got COVID all around us. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock on wood right now. And we got COVID all around us. That's game over right there. That's game over right there. It's supposed to be a scrimmage. We're going to scrimmage on our own. A uh, couple reasons why. First of all, Canyon View didn't get to start practice until Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, so we had to cancel it. And um, we could have probably picked somebody else up, but there was no reason to pick somebody else up because right now I don't want to be around any more people than we have to. I don't want to be the mass police. Keep them up when you know you're supposed to keep them up. The goal is to have a game one. Let's be honest. With the numbers spiking everywhere else, let's just get to game one. Then after that, we'll work on the next week, and then we'll work on the next week. Because I can't control what Sandra Day O'Connor's doing. I can't control in game two, or Pinnacle, or Skyline, or La Jolla, or North, or all those other teams. I can, right now, do a pretty darn good job of controlling. Hold on, and I'm going to cut that short. Hey, we got to stay up. Or call me so I can get some cleats. Game one seems to be a pretty important one now how we're here in the west side. It's for the River Rock. The River Rock now, I believe, is setting over at Agua Fria, and I know the kids have talked about it quite a bit. They needed a symbol um, to, uh, to exchange each year, so someone went into the river bottom and found this rock. So it's about this size, a little flatter, a silver line right down the middle, maroon on one side, red, Aguafria red on the other side. Unfortunately, the last time we did play Aguafria, we lost the rock. Uh, we gotta get that back. It was heartbreaking, but um, we're ready this year. We got this rock, yeah, it's a rock. Everyone in the stands probably, like, it's, a, it's a rock. Like, how could it be that amazing? But again, when you put your body on the line for 48 minutes, a rock means a lot at that point. Final piece is this. If you don't have any more of these, get them bought this weekend. There will be no more of this. We're this close and there's already three cancellations that happened today for next week. Three. You're not one of them. But there's three cancellations already. We're this close, seniors. We're this close. They're going to be anxious. They're going to be nervous. They're going to be excited. They're going to be up. Heck, in some cases, nobody knows how they're going to feel. And so uh, they don't know how they're going to feel. Some of, you know, 99% of them have not been under the lights. People will be there just due to the fact that it's River Rock. Three, one, two, three, three, two, three. Let's go, Bells, find it! These two schools and these two programs have been around for so long before all the expansion that there's multi-generations that have that have played for this, you know, for this trophy. Well, in this case, a rock. Soto's pass was intended for number three, Ryan Colwood. Backwards pass is ruled on the field, recovered by the Wolverines. Touchdown, Tolleson. Far right, lift Alabama. Far right, lift Alabama. Look at the spacing. Look at the damn spacing. Oh, God, he's rolling again. Just throw it. Now go get it, DP. Get him out. Get him out. Blitz, pick it up, throw it. Previous pass is intercepted by number nine, Jesus Castro. Back in the back! Block in the back! And there's a flag on the play. There it is, we got the block in the back. And it's 
set to be number 14, Michael Johannes. Great job, boys! Great job, boys! Great job, boys! The halftime score, Tolleson Wolverines, six. Your Ottawa Free Owls, eight. Got a lot of guys that think they're good. Got a lot of guys that hope they're good. And got a lot of guys still questioning on it right now. If we ain't got a damn soul out there right now, besides basically George Delgado, that's playing defense all by his freaking self. Who's ready for this? Yeah. Six seconds, three, five, 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 five. Get the first down. He's there, he's there, he's there. Game of six and a half. First and ten for the Wolverines from their own 45. There they come. There it is. Oh, no. There's growing pains. You didn't have a scrimmage. It's your first live. There's growing pains. Oh, Mike, throw it away, Mike. Oh, not there, Mike. Take that. Not there, Mike. Not there, Mike. Not there, Mike. Bill, this is our first game of the season. You can't shut down like this every time you, something goes wrong. You're shut down. I talked about this so much, but you can't shut down. It's game one. Poorly coached team in the state of Arizona right now. That's the final horn of the game. The 2021 River Rock rivalry game is in the books officially. The final score, Tolleson, six. Your Owls, 28. All hail, I'm a career. There's a lot of rust, a lot of football IQ stuff that we got to work on. The, the sad thing is for these kids, they should be excited after taking a year off. And unfortunately, a lot of tears. Look like it's been a year. We got a lot to work on. It's all on me. 100% on me. I'll get it fixed, but this is on me. Thought certain things, thought certain ways. I was incorrect. We'll get it fixed. We have to get better all across the board.